Hey everybody, I have a lot to discuss with you. We're going to call this series Telenovela Talks. Why? Because my favorite telenovela is coming back and I'm in shock. I'm ecstatic. I'm excited. Um, so hit the like and subscribe button as the intro plays. All right, y'all. So I wasn't even expecting this show to come back, but it's back and I couldn't even be happier. I couldn't be happier because it's Queen of Flow, Lorena of Flow on Netflix. It's a Colombian show by Caracol Productions. If many of you might know, Caracol Productions, they know how to put on a farce of a show, a good time of a show, a ridiculous show but I am here for Caracol Productions. Um, if you watch um, my last video on Love of My Life on Netflix, um, i.e. Dueve La Vida or whatever, Dueve La Vida um, on Netflix, which is the most ridiculous casting ever, Caracol TV produced that show. And so where it all started for me, well, it started actually with the Celia series, but shortly thereafter in 2018, I was in Panama and I was looking for something on my phone to watch and I found Lorena the Flow and seeing as though I was just, I, I was in Panama on a layover from Colombia. So I saw this show and I said, let me start watching it. And I was hooked. I was hooked. I stayed up all night until it was time for me to go to the airport watching Lorraine and the flow, they'll flow the first season one in 2018. And so that is my favorite of all the telenovelas that I've seen. Lorraine and the flow is the, my favorite. I watched season two, which was like, meh, but it was still enjoyable, but I thought it was over. I thought they completed the story. I thought, you know, series done, series done. Stop banging on the damn furnace. You hear me now? This is the last time. You know, Jamie got her revenge and she ended up with Charlie, of all people. So guess what? They announced the other day that season three is coming back. Go figure. Um, Carlos Torres, a.k.a. Charlie Flo, a.k.a. love him or hate him. He's one of the best villains and likable villains at that. How can you dislike a face like Charlie's? I mean, Charlie is an arrogant um, hip-hop artist who basically stole rhymes from Jamie when she was a teenager and actually um, planted drugs on her where she ended up in jail for 17 years. Hence, when she got out, she was there to get revenge on Charlie. But along the way, things happen. Um, she, her, the love of her life, Wancho, well, Wancho had a crush on Jamie all those years. Cause you know, Jamie and Charlie and Wancho were in a group. Wancho was a producer and DJ. So now, you know, in the future, in the present time, Wancho is producing music. Well, whereas Jamie had been in jail for 17 years and Charlie was, you know, the king of hip hop, the king of reggae tone you know, based on rhymes that Jamie wrote. So of course she wanted revenge. And of course in telenovela fashion, she was seeking revenge on the deaths of her family caused by who? Charlie's uncle's stepdaddy, Manin, who was the biggest drug dealer, narcos guy in town, who basically extorted Jamie's family and all the other families in the, in the, um, the neighborhood. What's the word? What is the word they use for neighborhood? It's commune. In they the, call it the commune. Oh, I can't remember. But anyhow, Manin is the biggest villain. But my meanwhile, Manin was married to Charlie's mo mother, Ligia, who um, actually didn't love Manin, but married him because Manin was Charlie's father's brother, which was crazy. But anyhow, Charlie and Jamie had a baby and... Um, Manin stole the baby and Ligia raised him and his name was Eric. Eric. Eric was raised as Charlie's brother, not knowing. Mind you, in old telenovela fashion, people who love love of my life, this happened. So Eric was played, Eric, the guy who plays Eric 
played Charlie's a young guy, but mind you, no one sees a resemblance. No one sees a resemblance. So Jamie got out of jail. She she posed as a um she made a deal with um I guess Columbia's version of the FBI to take down Manin. And so she went undercover and of course in telenovela fashion, Jamie comes back 17 years later, looks totally different. She's not the same Jamie. Nobody recognizes her. And she infiltrates um, Charlie Flo's business. He's married at the time to a chick named Hema. Spoiler alert, Hema Hema gets killed accidentally by Charlie. And um, they go on. And Hema and Charlie had a daughter named Vani, Vanessa. Vanessa gets with Ruko and gets hooked on drugs. And Ruko, I wish he would come back. That's who I wanted to come back in season two because Ruko was a good time. He made the faces. He hid behind walls and he was a perfect villain. He needs to come back, but I doubt it. So then season two goes on. Oh, basically, they kill off Manin at the end of season one. And I'm doing like 80 episodes in like two minutes. They kill off Manin in season one. But wait, there's more. Manin didn't die. We don't die, we multiply. Manin did not die. He was back in season two. So in season two, I'm trying to remember it thoroughly because it was so anticipated. Like I was just really like waiting. Like when is it coming back? Here's something crazy about me. I actually called Caracol Productions after season one. Is like, will there be a season two? Are you crazy? <laughs> And they had no answers. Season two, it took two, three years. It came back in 2021. The first season was released in 2018. So by 2020, during the pandemic, I like said, forget it. I gave up on it. And then they said it was coming back. I was so excited when season two came back. But then it was kind of a flop, but I watched it. A lot of stuff happened. Jamie was with Wancho, who always loved her. Wancho was jealous of Charlie. Wancho went crazy. Wancho's um, ex-wife. Oh, I forgot about Wancho's wife, who was also in the Celia series. She was really crazy. Kata. Kata. Short for Catalina. She was she was cuckoo for Cocoa Puff. She got on drugs. But then in season two, she was his producer. Opposite of Wancho. She separated. And so she was threatened by Jamie because Wancho... Wancho and Kata had a, a child and they were trying to take full custody and Kata was mad. Then Kata got with a young rapper, um, what's his name? Chris, Chris, um, I forget his last name. Chris Vega. Who was also Pez Koi. Edicts competition. So much happened. Cause it's like 80 episodes each season. So how can I bring this to you in such a short amount of time? But I feel like I'm doing a pretty good job. <laughs> Okay, okay, what I think she's trying to say is, oh, hell no. Wancho went crazy. Jamie got with Charlie. Manine, I thought, died, but guess what, everybody? We're here to talk about season three, and it's seven minutes, almost eight minutes in. Manine is back, everybody. But guess who's not back? Jamie. She's not back for season three. But word on the street is she'll be back starting in December. She'll come back. So I'm excited. Charlie is our villain, you know, the likable Charlie, but there is a new queen of flow and her name is Sky. And apparently Charlie's sidekick, Axel, the little short guy named Kino, he's an actual rapper in Columbia, Columbia, is he's going to emerge, I guess, this season. And because, you know, he was emerging in season two, he was, he had a rap duo with this other guy, I forget his name, but they actually had a song a song that was kind of likable. They're back. Ligia's back. And my name's back. How's my name still alive, everybody? I cannot wait to hear this story. I cannot wait. But anyhow, drop into the comments and tell me, are you down for some talks about Queen of Flow? Would you like me to do recaps of season one and two? That would require me watching season two again because I swear I don't remember it thoroughly. So drop in the comments and tell me what you think. Also, I'm watching another telenovela with some familiar faces from Colombia. I am watching Class 95. Is anybody else watching that? Drop into the comments and tell me because I am thinking about talking about that. Anyhow, like and subscribe. 
Till next time, and stay tuned for Queen of Flow Season 3.